How's it going, everybody? Starting for Tina, and welcome back to another reaction. Gonna be reacting to Nostalgia Cranks, one of his newer videos of Kingdom of the Commercials reaction. Now, I wanted to get into this reaction earlier, but again, I got, I got sick as always. You all guys know the deal already. So we're going to be watching the yearly commercials video that Nostalgia Critic makes. And I'm excited to see what commercials he's chosen for this year. So that being said, let's review some classic commercials in 3, 2, 1. Alright. After these messages. After these messages. Hey, wait a minute. Huh? You didn't what? shout commercials like you always do. Yeah, you say it earlier and earlier every special. Oh, that's right. Thanks oh, wow, I actually me. forgot about that. Huh. Right. Okay. What did you do? I traveled back in time to the last video to shout it out there. Oh. Guess ah. you can't get earlier than that. Can you use that time machine for actual important stuff? No. Thought not. Okay, bye! So you After Mandela affected us, messages. got it. After these messages. After these messages. After these messages. We'll be right back. You're gonna have to check Joey, it's in the last video. Okay. okay. Here I am, just like Bill Cosby in the new movie, Leonard Part 6. Oh, Every now and then that sentence I see. you stay far away from. Mm -hmm. The Cosby Leonard Part 6 and Ponderosa have all been mm -hmm. clarified as great dangers. I'm yet another. To be fair, Doug, it w this was before then, I think. So I'm gonna be fair about and it. No reality is Bill Cosby giving you thumbs up a good thing. Arriving, I enter cautiously. To say that something Cosby didn't practice would be a severe understatement. Then I yeah, I had a feeling you should just make all those jokes. Mini spy camera at Ponderosa. Cosby shouldn't have a secret camera. I think he's kept enough secrets, don't you? For only 99 cents with any purchase. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, you got me with the fact that it's a freaking spy camera. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, Mr. Cosby, you know you have a 100 feet restraining order to touch literally anything. There's a family feeling at Ponderosa. Family feeling might not be the best choice of words there. Mm. I also love Cosby when bothered to show up for an ad for his own movie, but he was all over Jello, like him being all over something else. Mm. I can't imagine why he showed up for these ads more. We've got Jigglers! Because he knew in the future just hearing him say the word jigglers would make everybody cower in a ball and say, I've never heard that word, but it sounds wrong when he says it now. Oh god. Yeah. My thoughts exactly on that one. Jello gelatin. With our bare hands. You've done enough with your bare hands, sir. It's okay, I only have three. Oh, they're everywhere. Santa loves jigglers. Not to the disturbing degree I do, but still. Oh, what fun these jigglers are when Santa's on his way. Never playing that clip again. Please don't. Santa won't oh, thank goodness. Oh, Bill, oh boy. My lawyer has an airtight case. He'll never take me alive. Oh, for stealing jigglers. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. In a way. Mm -hmm. What the hell was I talking about? Oh, yeah, Leonard Part 6. God, they knew what every kid wanted to be in 1987. I guess for what they had to do, this was probably the best ad they could get out of it, but I think it goes without saying, just about everything that happened in the future tainted this ad's reputation. Yeah. Too bad. Though is it? There's a family feeling at Ponderosa. Well, at least it wasn't an ad for Twin Peaks. Hmm. The harsh planet of New Texas. Christ, I already love this ad! The oh, harsh... Texas got sick of threatening freedom, so they made their own planet on Mercury, which hmm. is almost as warm as old Texas. Holds a substance so precious that outlaws from every hole in the galaxy come to steal it. Curium, huh. the irreplaceable fuel of the universe. Hmm, a little subtle in a post unobtainium world. You may want to try huh. Kid Quigidium, or Oil Gold Tysis, or <laughs> Obvious Commentary Pretentiousness. Without hmm. its red crystals, I, I like that name, no I like that last could one. Fly. No machine could work. Someone was needed to protect the Curium from the ultimate outlaw, Tex Space Cowboys, is that what this is? This whole ad is doomed if it was written by Ted Cruz. <laughs> the townspeople asked for a thousand lawmen. They got one. Brave Star. This is another one of those action figure lines that also got an animated series out of it. And the whole oh, line I feels see. like that Space okay. Cowboy from Silverhawks got Homelander's PR firm. With the eyes of a hawk. The speed of a puma. The strength of a bear. The, the speed of a what? Hold on, hold on. The speed of a puma. A puma with a q I think you mean puma. The strength of a bear. And the textures of... 
Mr. Game & Watch. How long yep, is pretty much. Had? Have we even seen the toy yet? No. Ah, oh, there it oh. is. That's what he looks like? It just looks like a Ken I doll. He's not bad, but for all that build-up, I want a Clint Eastwood with, like, a T-800 body. This guy That'd looks be like funny. David Hasselhoff on Cowboy Ken's body. Hey, that's what I was saying. He looks like a Ken doll. Hold the power. And the power is cinnamon delicious. Okay, as someone who has never seen the show or the toy, I would buy this. It's really? so much shoved in your face gruffness. It does look like it would be a good time. Fly on, yeah, animal yeah. cowboy. Fly Looks like on. a fun Brave toy. Brave star from Mattel. Each sold separately. The extra R stands for rated R. Hmm. What would you do for a Klondike ah, bar? Ah, this one. Yeah, these ads used to be all over the place. What would you do for the a Klondike bar? Simple. The announcer would ask a person on the street if they would do something silly. When they say no, they offer them a Klondike bar, and of course, they end up doing it. Yep, that's you what you do for a Klondike bar. Him? No, no, thanks. For rich, creamy Klondike ice cream? <laughs> no bark, no bite. Now speak, doggy. <laughs> now strip naked, put on that collar, and lick my leather boots. That's right, oh doggy. my god, no. No, come on, dog. You get the idea, though. No matter how insanely mundane the request, they always gave in when a Klondike bar was offered. Would you wear this arrow on your head? Somebody might see me. You get a Klondike bar, luscious vanilla ice cream. You want around? Well, all right. And they say mm. the elderly can't live dangerously. <laughs> Some people act like they've been waiting all their lives for someone to ask them these weird requests. Yeah. Would you be a chicken for a Klondike bar? <laughs> she didn't even question it. She was like, Finally my chance to reveal I was the sound chicken limbo mate when he got hit in the balls has come to fruition. <laughs> yeah, no oh, no, Klondike. that's funny. <laughs> I think that bitch just laid an egg. Yeah. Some of them. <laughs> okay, that was good. That almost come across as creepy. I can stand here. Okay, stand there. Just stand here for a Klondike. Uh -huh. I don't have to act like a monkey. <laughs> Rich chocolate ice cream. Or hop like Why a does she go wide-eyed every single chocolate. time? This is gonna end with blood on that board and Jigsaw laughing. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. What would you do for a clean pair of pants? <laughs> Maybe every ten years. Exactly. Ads make a little bit of a return. Hey Shakespeare, would you write a TV sitcom for a Klondike bar? What you talking about, Willie? <laughs> Some of them fresh out of mushroom hallucinations. Hmm. But the big issue is that what was asked of them was never crazy <laughs> enough. What we really need is a few of these. Would you choose which of your children would live and which would die? No. How about for a Klondike? Susie. Would you want a 12 monkey style plague that wiped out humanity? No. How about for a Klondike bar? Still no. How about for two Klondike bars? Oh, that's cool. Would you wow. kill a person? Yeah. <laughs> Tamra. I, I didn't even offer you anything. That's okay. Am I the person? You're just gonna have to find out. <laughs> I oh. guess these ads work. I mean, we are still Damn. talking about them. But like, Hammer is ruthless, huh? Like I said, I just feel like they need to go a little further to be funny. What would you do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> Ow! Except that one. No notes. All right, what's next? Zelda become a legend on your Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, I think I know this one. Frank, we have no idea how to market this game. Can you call your community theater friend to act crazy? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know this one. Which way you go? Yeah, yeah no, she's possessed just by me going crazy in. everywhere. Seriously, what is the idea behind this? Renfield doesn't get a big game, so he tries his high school improv on nobody. Yeah, name the henchman. That's why this game series is still going so long. Zelda! Mm. Zelda! You know, it kind of reminds me of when Bowser's Inside Story was advertised. It was just like a bunch of kids. Going like, there's that guy and this guy's out. Mario Bowser's super good. He's like super powered his muscles. And then we go, Mario, Luigi, Mario, Luigi. Like, it's just really weird. And again, it almost has nothing like to advertise about what the game is actually about. Zelda, Zelda, Zelda. By the way, it's a really good game. Please play it. The Legend of Zelda. Ah. You know the ad agency was handed this and was saying, What the hell's a Zelda? Oh, uh, I think it's a Swedish wall plaster. Well, Max Hedrum <laughs> is in. Just have him doing that, shouting random words from the instruction book. Yes, sir. We're brilliant. Fear not, though. <laughs> as shown in this other commercial that came out around the same time. When you don't know how to advertise Zelda, rap about it. Oh, it's this, the no. Of Zelda and it's really rad. Those creatures from Ganon are uh, pretty bad. I can't listen I've to that. I've heard, heard that way too many times. These versions some slack after seeing how these guys handled it. Mm. Alterox Tech Tech's levers, too. 
With your help, I thought it was over, dog. Move. Come on. The funniest part isn't even the rap. It's how they write these two like an alien race trying to pose as an 80s teen comedy. Did you see the latest Nintendo newsletter? Whoa, nice graphics. Mm. I'd like to get my hands on that game. Sorry. But you're not I even looking at the damn thing, man. Me. Whoa, my hand. I'd like to get my hand on that hand. Yeah, get so. Okay, awesome. Intent. No kidding. We didn't even get to, and I'm here to say. Mm -hmm. Okay, so neither of these ads really had an idea for what the game was like, but it is fun seeing what they came up with when they clearly have no idea what to come up with. Awesome. I, I guess, Intent. but no, these were not so system. good commercials. Let's, Let's go way back, all the hmm. way to the 1960s. It was a peaceful time when nobody had anything to worry about. Mm. And westerns like the Roy Rogers show were crazy popular. So obviously he had a lot of merchandise that creatively thought out of the box about how to kill people. Dude! What? what? My new Roy Rogers quick shooter hat. Dang! Like to be so American, even your headwear is armed. That thing looks like a fraggle is taking cover in your hat like a war. Holy crap, that's pretty cool actually. Too loudly. And you'll all that's straight up like shit out of Looney Tunes, guys. Props to you. That was actually really good. Always be ready for anything. Remember that scene in The Fugitive where Tommy Lee Jones blew that guy away just holding his gun around the corner? Mm -hmm. This is the hat of that. Pretty what much. A dirty, complicated Western would have this. This is like playing cowboys and Indians if it was between Professor Franken and Inspector Gadget. Pretty it's much, yeah. A for a Home Alone trap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <gasps> Available. This is this is like a, it's that one uh, like Western movie that was actually not that good. Uh, I believe Will Smith was in it. You know, if they had something like that in there, maybe it would have been a little bit interesting. For five ninety eight or twenty grand. Just saying. Money. This just doesn't feel like a very heroic toy. I'm waiting for the kid to say, Cowboy Rogers, isn't that something like what the villain in one of your shows would do? Well, yeah. That's serious, right? In my hat. Maybe part of it too is just how real that little gun looks. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people outside the U.S. got to be looking at this like. Is everything in America armed? Yes. That yep. pencil. It's armed. That cell phone. It's armed. Even the entire floor is made out of guns. Really? The safety is off on half of them. Try to guess which ones. Oh no. It's inventive, I'll give him that, but man, who knew Western toys could be so strange? Yeah. Ask for Ideal's new Roy Rogers quick shooter hand. Sold exclusively on Planet New Texas. <laughs> Jurassic Park newsflash. Oh, Jurassic Park one. Escape of the dinosaurs. It's not surprising the biggest movie about dinosaurs would make some pretty cool toys. The yeah. commercials for them were pretty cool too. Especially how some of them open with the announcer. Yeah, these are actually pretty awesome. <laughs> Don't worry, they're safely secured. Look out! Jurassic Park! Don't worry, most of our dinosaurs are gentle vegetarians. <laughs> nope. That one was especially intense. Yeah. Was the tour guide SpongeBob? <laughs> <laughs> but the young uh, T-Rex wants a piece uh, of I, I can't scream yet. Oh, dino damage! Jesus, dino damage is pretty gruesome. It's like Dang. somebody designing this was saying, Hey, remember the game operation? What if we made it look like there was real pain involved? Oh, what yeah, ow. Triceratops! Oh, gosh. I also love these ads and with the strangest tagline. Just the announcer like a conspiracy theory nut saying, It's happening. Hungry for action? It's happening. Look for the JP Mart. It's <laughs> happening. I warned you, if we took the vaccines, the dinopocalypse would happen. Now, it's happening. <laughs> Dinosaurs are on a rampage, and only the JP team is tough enough to stop them! That's no, such a cool commercial. Look nothing like in the movies. Muldoon and the Jungle Explorer yeah. stops him. Tim Murphy says a baby like dinosaur. Tim Murphy is half that age and only claimed the fame as being fried like a banana fritter. I think mm. this would be a more appropriate toy for him. Snagasaurus! <laughs> How the hell is that Nidri? What, Dang. Did they run out of mold, so they were just like, eh, use the old T2 toys. That looks enough <laughs> like them. Yeah, look at. I mean, Nedry, you lost a few pounds. I gotta say, that's pretty damn impressive. Look for the mark of Jurassic Park figures and vehicles each sold separately. I guess the toys were so popular, they started making up more characters for the line. Oh, really? And do they pick actors I think were literally born to be toys? 
Giants. The <laughs> neighborhoods are threatened, and only the Dino Trackers can stop them. They look like Jurassic Gladiators. If you think they look ridiculous, wait till you hear their names. T-Rex turned a tons of young T-Rex with a trank arrow. Jaws Jackson put the squeeze on a ram head, and Harpoon Harrison hooks the demon. These are the names wrestlers throw out because they want to keep some dignity to their craft. T-Rex turned a Jaws Damn. Jackson, Harpoon Harrison, Slab Bulkhead, Bridge Large Meat, Onto Speed Jump, Bolt Vander Huge. Wow. It could still be a better sequel Next, than uh. every sequel we've gotten from these movies. Yeah, can you imagine if they advertise these for the later Jurassic Park movies? It's the Jurassic hmm. World Dominion Toys! Play oh as boy. all your favorite characters, especially this clone of a little girl! We hmm. want to play with that! Yeah, we want dinosaurs! <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you have to play with this toy whether you like it or not! Nope. Oh. There's another one! Oh, oh yeah, well my dinosaur will eat you up! Hey, it's a locust! Jurassic oh, World yeah. Dominion. This is. Oh yeah, that that movie wasn't that great. Gotta be honest. Apparently, what you wanted. Well, just because the movies got bad doesn't mean the toys and the ads for them weren't still pretty cool. Jurassic True. Park, Dino Trackers, and Dinosaurs. This was during the golden summer. age of like the Dino Park hype. Age. I mean, they had to try a lot harder than this one. <laughs> That's so pathetic. I'm not even gonna give any commentary to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Time to relax. I have been looking at that easy to read green text all day. Definitely <laughs> time for some Wrigley Spearmint gum. Wrigley Spearmint? Jesus Christ! What? What is Wrigley Spearmint? Well, is that Courage the Cowardly Dog's it's computer? Chewing satisfaction. No, the correct answer is the f Yeah. Please. The missiles are now launched. Say goodbye to Florida. I don't think I will. This I gotta see. Wrigley Spearmint has a mouth. Oh, why? Food. That turns you into a Commodore 64 blow-up doll. That uh, so what's your analysis? I can imagine like this is like a, a theme in Courage the Covered Dog where like he's like chewing gum, and he's like, "Is that spearmint gum, you twit?" Fine, I'll take some. <laughs> and then he's just like, "Oh, this stuff is going to turn you into like a monster or something." This is part of a short series of commercials where computers, through of course non-debatable data, conclude that Wrigley is. Oh, what's that term again? Pure chewing satisfaction. Pure chewing satisfaction. Pure chewing hmm. satisfaction. Pure chewing satisfaction. Pure chewing satisfaction. Pure chewing satisfaction. Was this a phrase? I don't think I should trust the, the computer about gum Pure chewing. Pure chewing satisfaction. The one thing you don't want to hear your woman say when she's going down on you. Hmm. The experiment is pure chewing satisfaction. Yeah. Are you pure chewing satisfaction? Well, what do you mean? Insert hand. Well, sure, I see no problem with that. Oh no! <laughs> now, what happens if I cross-reference? Yeah, don't don't feed that satisfaction. computer anything. No, oh, hi Monica. So, what are you yeah, doing here? I was about saying these ads are pretty lame, but it is an adorable kind of lame. So how come you never talked to me before? Wrigley Spearman is pure chewing satisfaction. <laughs> I'll leave you be. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I can imagine, like, you give gum to Monica, and she's just like, This sucks. See, we're breaking up. Yeah, oh, what the hell is that? Yeah, I loved my pet monster when I was a kid. Even just hearing Did you the have word a pet monster, monster, isn't something like this the first thing that comes to your mind? Except he's cooler, because he looks like one that get thrown in jail on that island from where the wild things are for getting drunk and pissing on shit. Huh. Bigger than big. When he fights battles, he It does look like that, but ugh. And he's your friend, too. Nice segue. He's the deadliest creature around, but he's nice. Hmm. The Pretty coolest much. part was the breakaway chains, which I know a lot of kids, including myself, were like, holy shit, this thing is like preschool steroids. And then when you get them, it's just Velcro and plastic. Honestly, yeah. it was probably harder to keep them together than to break them apart. But this mm -hmm. boy seems to like him. Breakaway chains. <laughs> Calm down, kid. Even Frosted Flakes would be like, do my kids sound like that? Pretty much. You're a tiger. I'm raising some dorks. Get my pet monster, you're busting loose. And scary. That's a big okay, tunnel that's walked through. Here, Ed. And scary. And helps people too. He just did my taxes last week. I didn't know plastic chains were deductible. My pet monster plays on the Big day. scary and helps people. Great. The funny thing is, they tried to market it as a girly toy too. Really? Like with the spin off, My Monster Pet. Monster Which, by the way, what is the hierarchy of these things? Do, like, it just looks like a weird monkey thing. Pets? But look, they suddenly go from creepy and gross to soft and lovable. Yeah, that is kind of weird, I gotta admit. 
And okay, I'll just say it. When the chains are on a girl, it looks like the monster is kidnapping her. <laughs> Don't give me that look in the other commercial. Actually, you were looking does. at this scene saying, Are they playing or is he dragging her to his nerf dungeon? You know this is a little messed up. Mm. Uh oh. Beware of monster pets. Oh god. You get detention, you get detention, you get detention. Nobody should bring a toy to work that has a Shrek dick nose. And he's your friend too. And all your friends are okay. their friends too. Okay, it's a little odd. Yeah, a lot of confiscated toys toy in that school. All these years later, I still think it looks pretty cool. My pet monster has that's looked like a pretty nice toy, Android, actually. American greetings company. And don't Despite forget to check out the movie. Oh, don't, don't, don't do that. Oh. Well, you guys sure Damn. look like you're ready for a good time. Was everybody in the 80s a psycho? I think so. This is an ad for Canada Dry. And because God knows the PSAs weren't enough nightmare fuel, our neighbors from the north had to make their sodas terrifying, too. In that what? holiday spirit, eh, Fred? I don't want to know what he does to these dolls when the party is over. I don't want to know either. Hurry up, Jeanette. Yeah, smile, Jeanette, like you're not being held against your will. Each light, refreshing beverage is the best you can pour. And the what the hell is going on in this scenario? Off and running. Aw, it changed so soon, I was really enjoying a Megan Christmas. Here's the the that stuff's gotta be like hallucinogenic or something. Like he drinks it and then he starts seeing the dolls as real people. Honestly, that would make for a pretty badass commercial, I gotta say. Perfect toast or what? Just let me go, I wanna see my children again. Nothing gets a party started like Canada Dry. Quick, Jeanette, the Canada Dry. The purge just started. <laughs> Is there really anything else to say about this one? It's creepy, horrifying, and does not make me want whatever it's selling. Yeah. Unless it's a Muppet flamethrower. Which I'm pretty sure these guys already have. Nothing mm -hmm. else to say, but all around them. Also, nice callback to Wilkins. Quick, Jeanette, the Canada Dry. I'm in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> Ever wonder what the Power Rangers Oh, Power really Rangers. Talk about? These That's... guys are gonna make us miss who's the boss. What? I wish Tony were here. What would he do? Hit them with a feather duster? Tony's okay, but Angela's the toughest. Why that right? voice? Is tough. We're not about to miss who's the boss. It's by 30. Quick, turn on box 33. What? Couldn't even say anything during that. I was so confused. Yeah. What accents are those even supposed to be? I mean, I'm already offended watching this, but how offended should I be? I think it's almost uh, like a catch-all to make a sure good every amount. nationality claims offense at this. I wish Tony were here. What would he do? Hit them with a feather duster? And okay, I can stretch my imagination enough to believe high schoolers can drive robotic dinosaurs to fight giant monsters, <laughs> but not at teens ever discussing with any passion who's the boss. Tony's okay, mm. but Angela's the tough one. I mean, when they ask, what do you think the Power Rangers really talk about? Weren't you expecting something like, my parents are such fascists, they limit my screen time to only 23 hours a day. At least yours didn't make a TikTok <laughs> account to hit on half of your friends. Dude, you can probably call the cops on him. Maybe, I'm not sure. I think the bigger question is, why are we just looking at a time slot when fighting a monster? Well, I hate this. I love you guys. Guys, but I hate this. Hey, has anybody <laughs> seen who's the boss? Piss off, off Miller. Miller! Your generation's the devil! Damn. It's confusing, odd, and like Paw Patrol advertising American Horror Story. It just makes no sense. I mean... It's my daddy! Ugh. Quick, turn on Box 33! Seriously, Alyssa Milano's a treasure! <laughs> I didn't know you had a new baby in the family. This is called a real baby doll. And uh, the classic baby doll this video. This like a real baby. What are you going to name her? Not really. Jennifer, I wrote it on the birth announcement. Oh, you know full well you have no friends to send this to. Don't mm -hmm. worry, we'll still have party guests. Everybody got an announcement about your real baby except me. Well, that's because you can't act, you little village of the damned. Real baby. <laughs> You're my sleepy real baby, and I love you. About as real as a mascot for Squid Games. My baby yeah, is pretty much. It just looks like she's having none of this. Whose baby is She looks like she's just Your staring off into space. Your sitting one PIA, not two. I named her... Gosh, the bright eyes and the narrow mouth just makes it look like, like a bowling ball. Like her head's just a big bowling ball. Just throw it down, knock over a bunch of pins. Katie, I'm sending out the birth announcements right now. She's a doll. <laughs> Doesn't it sound like she's really saying? She's a doll. What's wrong with yeah. you? Do you know it's a doll? Were you born with a terminal case of the dumbs? Can I hold her? <laughs> a terminal case of the dumbs. Oh my gosh, Doug. <laughs> if I wasn't sick right now, I'd be laughing my ass off. Ass off. 
She's my real baby. Oh god, that was a oh, good don't one. Worry. I won't drop her like I did with you. Also, am I crazy? Or is that thing huge? It looks less like a real baby, more like a stunted Oompa Loompa. <laughs> She's my sleepy real baby. I don't know. The doll isn't my <laughs> thing, but I guess like the a... ad is okay enough. Real baby and sleepy real baby. Each comes with five birth announcements. And be on the lookout for our newest edition, Man Baby. Mm. Don't want that Who one. Are those great looking dolls. She's a doll! <laughs> okay, I don't do many ads from the 70s, but it's interesting to see how the Hollywood life looked through the eyes of Barbie. It's fun really? to their movie stars, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's Quick Curl Barbie and Mod Hair Ken. Honestly, most of this ad is fine for what it is, but there's one part that really stands out. And what is that? Put a mustache on Ken and make believe he's the bad guy. Because porno stash equals instant villain? <laughs> yeah, sometimes it does. Oh. Or sideburns and play he's the hero. Mustache bad, sideburns good. You realize you're saying this in the decade when everybody had a mustache. Mm -hmm. What if one of these girls had a father who had a mustache? Would they be like, You know, my dad has a mustache. I know. He's behind you. Don't look. <laughs> he knows we're watching. Don't look. Oh, shit. Stop looking. Turn around, Cindy. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Everything else about it is fine. It's just that one weird ass moment. Not a ton else to say about it, but don't grow a mustache. Quick curl Barbie and mod hair Ken dolls uh -oh. with their own accessories, each sold separately from Mattel. Mine very much has an undertone of violence. <laughs> Pretty much. A soft drink is not a magic potion, a status symbol, or a badge that says who I am. You know, sometimes hmm. you just gotta call something funny. And the sprite images nothing adds from the 90s were pretty damn funny. It will not make me more attractive to the opposite sex, hmm. though I wish it would. The ad campaign for soda mocked every other ad campaign for sodas. Huh. Like that somehow only sexy people drink their product. What do the really beautiful people drink? <laughs> the same thing as the rest of us. Oh, gosh. Um, uh, what a weird time, eh, people? That if you drink Sprite, suddenly you'll be a pro at sports. Brad Hill drinks Sprite. If you want to make it to the NBA, ah! practice. Yeah. That the badass people you see on TV are really badass people. Turbo Sport 7! God damn it! <gasps> the can's upside down! Don't talk to me like a child! I played Hamlet at Cambridge! What? And soda doesn't suddenly equal a party. <laughs> Oh. oh man, mine's busted. And like I've mm. joked about several times on these commercials. Oh yeah, this some guy. Some mascots are downright terrifying. That's because there's a delicious <laughs> ray of sunshine in every drop. Yeah, and then they run for their lives. I love this one. <laughs> these ads were goddamn hilarious. Mm. There's just one little problem. What? They're doing a lot of things they're telling you not to fall for. Mm. Grant Hill was in a lot of these ads. And again, he's very funny but he's a celebrity in an ad saying don't listen to celebrities in ads. Would you want an NBA player operating on you, handling a nuclear reactor? Then why do you want one telling you what to drink? Hmm. Well, my thirst is telling me I want water. The correct answer is Sprite. But I want water. I want Sprite. Water. Sprite. Shut up, boys. It literally shows all the money he's getting paid as he advertises. Doug, I think what you meant to say is Wilkins Coffee, actually. Because that's, pro that's probably like Wilkins' friend, like, sp like a little spritty Sprite. He just makes you drink Sprite, otherwise he just horrifically tortures you. Is the product. Only drink with that cool, crisp, refreshing taste that satisfies even my manliest thirst. Now that we said don't trust commercials, don't not trust our commercials. Mm. You can mock these commercials all you want, Sprite, but you know when the campaign is over, you're just gonna go back to doing the exact same things they are. Pretty I'm much. Better than Juki. Juki Juki I drink 93,000 cans and I got this Juki sauce! I got this yeah. Juki on There's one reason what? to drink something, and it isn't to get junk. How the hell did he get a hornet's nest? Stop begging and start drinking Sprite. Okay, seriously, I don't want to be too hard on these because really these commercials are goddamn hilarious. Yeah. I guess it'd be like hating those movies that say we need to eat the rich, despite what? that they're usually made by rich people. Hmm. I can't help it. Good writing's good writing. And these ads are worth tracking down and watching all of. Just as long as you don't think too hard about it. I gotta see that. A beautiful naked woman. If you do, you probably just need a girlfriend. 
<laughs> okay, that's a good one. <laughs> oh. Great. Those would heavily thrive in today's world, I think. What do you want to get? Ice cream. Uh oh. Okay. We've been running low on PSAs recently, but I think I found a pretty good one. All right, what's this it one? With a woman oh and no! A kid walking down the street when it looks like someone's watching them. Let's go, honey. Whoa, what the what? hell? There's a whole gang of them. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Wait, 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 wait! Is the twist that she's the kidnapper and not oh my them? God, surrounded! Run, bitch, run! Together we can find a child by signing. Oh my gosh! Wireless I can't believe I called the I had no idea. <laughs> oh man. Amber alerts on your cell phone. That was actually pretty Excuse good. Me, I think my brain needs to explode. <laughs> Holy shit, was that a good twist? Yeah. I one hundred percent did not see that coming. First I all, called it right away, so but dating good Samaritans. What did they get my loan from that Harold and Kumar joke? Even that van, I swear, was giving me evil eyes. I was <laughs> driving a windowless van and not up to something. Screw what I was saying before about these girls. They were probably the ones doing the abducting the whole time. Probably. Second, who thought up such a brilliant but insane demented idea? Of course, Canada. The uh, Twilight Zone of PSAs. Well, screw it. You are yeah, going with this one. I'm going to sign up for all these alerts, even if I'm not Canadian. Yeah, I was going to say. I will never text stop. I want to see what crazy twist will be at the end of another one of these stories. Mm. In fact... I want a twist like that. I'm gonna sign up for it right now. Be Boom, careful. There we go. Now, where's my twist ending? Hey, it'll. Oh, is it right here? Oh, hi, Tamara. Uh, Tamara, you all right? Tamara, you all right? What is going on? The twist ending is coming any moment now. Oh, hey, Dr. Oh, hey! Oh! I hope you're uh, surrounded. Uh, hi, everybody. What's, uh, what's up? Ow. Oh, sh oh, they're doing surgery on you, are they? Oh god, what is, what's gonna happen? I feel so different. What's going on? I, uh, you've been green screened. What's going on? This? I know what's going on. I, I know what they did to me. They turned me into a Canadian PSA! I they would did? Not see that coming. Oh! oh <laughs> Doug! Where am I now? Don't you put it in your mouth, don't you put oh. it in your mouth, don't you You're forced to relive all of them. God, they're so creepy and unpleasant. Though it might look good to eat, though it might look good to eat. Oh jeez, I can't look at them, take me away! Now where am I? Oh, this one. Oh no, not this one. Not this one, you know what happens if we play this one! Mm-hmm. What is that? Mm. It's a... Damn you, yeah. Canada! Pretty much. Oh, no, I'm not going to do this any of that. This for charity, we're doing Beyond Hunger. All right. <laughs> well, what what a series of commercials to, to end on. That was actually legit a pretty solid PSA at the end there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. A lot of really... I was expecting a lot of, I guess, more commercials that I would have seen before. Not way back in, like, the 1960s or anything, but... Honestly, those none of those were really disappointing. I mean, they're all... I don't know. Like, but, you know, no, I guess I just had high... Uh, why am I contradicting myself? Oh, my God. Point... I'll just leave it at these were good. I like them. I really did like that last one. I can't believe I called the twist. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun with it. I'm going to try and get back with more videos soon, but... Again, I can't really stop this sickness or my voice, so... Hopefully, I'll see you guys as soon as I can. Been said, bye.